All right, bring up our next performer here. Please give a warm welcome for Zach Martina. <laughs> Ah, oh, let me start off by saying, as a proud father of two wonderful little girls, I think kids are a lot like farts. I love my own. I don't really like yours. Keep that little stinker inside. I don't want to get to know it. It's gross. It's gross. Two girls, they're growing up so fast. Mine just started losing their teeth. Naturally, of course, uh, <laughs> I think, I'm not sure, but uh, she had the, she's like, the tooth fairy's coming. She's gonna leave me one million dollars. <laughs> Sweetheart, I say this with love, but if your teeth were worth a million dollars, I'd have knocked them out a long time ago. There's absolutely <laughs> no question about that. Got these vivid imaginations, very real imaginations. My oldest, she likes to pretend she's pregnant. Very realistic though. She'll shove a doll up her shirt and then wander around the house for three to four hours saying things like, oh, my ankles are so swollen. <laughs> Put the pickles away or I'm gonna puke. And then like three hours in, she's got this sippy cup of water in her hand. She spills it on the floor and goes, it's time. <laughs> I'm just grateful her sister was playing doctor at that exact moment because she came and delivered that baby like a pro. She's like, sister, you gotta remember your breathing. She's like, ah, give me the drugs. It's too far beyond that, sweetheart. You're gonna hook the kid. You gotta push. Dad, we're gonna need more towels. I'm like, what the hell is happening? I don't know what to do, so I just react. I go, who's the dad? She goes, relax, it's not mine, I'm her surrogate. I go, you're seven, you tell me who taught you that word. <laughs> oh. They know about reproduction, they know about their private parts because they asked and I told them. What's the private part? Well, for you, don't ever let anyone touch you here, here, or here. She goes, got it, don't ever let anyone touch me here, here, or here. But can I touch me there? <laughs> uh, do it in your room, I guess. Uh, <laughs> make sure you wash your hands before and after. Same rules as dinner, sweetheart. That's how we're gonna handle this, okay? Ugh. My youngest, she's adorable. She pronounces vagina as China. It's absolutely the cutest thing you'll ever hear. And as a father, it's how I hope she looks at it forever. I hope she views her vagina as a piece of fine China. Dishware that only adults use on special occasions and they work very hard to keep it clean. That's what I hope. We've had the sex talk with them. We've done that, which made it very awkward when they walked in on my wife and I right in the middle of marital intercourse. We're right in the middle of it, and then I hear my five-year-old from the door, is this sex? <laughs> it is so awkward when you have to unzip your mask <laughs> and be like, no, this is making love, sweetheart. That's what this is. I think it was a pretty good sex talk. I'll tell you this, I can't live up to the sex talk my dad gave. My dad gave me the sex talk when I was nine. I had just beat him in a game of Monopoly. He's like, you got your finances in order, we can talk about this. I'm like, oh, whatever. <laughs> no idea what he was talking about, just started rambling board games. Son, I'm uh, real glad you beat me in Monopoly because I'll tell you, men and women play every single game you can think of. To this day, I don't understand the operation. Like any good game of Jenga, you gotta build a solid foundation, but it's easier said than done, because men and women are not apples to apples. It is a trivial pursuit, let me tell you. They're gonna ask you every category of question you can think of. You're not gonna have a clue what to say because some topics are taboo. Your cranium is gonna be boggled, completely scrabbled up there. It is a risk. It's no candy land. You're probably gonna get caught in some crossfire, and I'm sorry, I know this is part cheesy, but you don't need that trouble in your game of life, okay? <laughs> You wanna keep rolling the dice playing video games? You're never gonna poker. It's a terrible stratego. Jumping through chutes and ladders to spend the rest of your days playing Uno. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Connect four, find yourself a nice gal, a hungry, hungry hippo maybe, I don't care. If she's a hippo, she's got a beautiful chest. If she's got a beautiful chest, 
check her out, get her a gin rummy, and guess who is sinking their battleship in her mousetrap? You are Yahtzee. Game over. That's the best sex talk you're ever going to get. That's the best one ever. Hey, you guys had a lot of fun. My name's Zach Martina. Have a great night.